Hey, what's good, guys? CAWJ here again with another deck profile of Madoches post Tachyon Galaxy with the Who Cakes. Um, opinions about the deck before I get started into it. Um, honestly, I don't think the deck is meta enough to keep up with the other decks, but um, with the Who Cakes being a extremely, really, really, really powerful card in Madoches and make it extremely like just OTK potential can come back from a lot of things just really amazing so the deck is can stand up to the meta but not as strongly to where it can you know constantly win over 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 again to come first place in the tournament but besides that we're going to the deck first off everybody should know triple magic lane. basically nothing changed about this card Summon it, search out, set up plays. Nothing more to be said about her. The card of the deck. <laughs> Who cake? Who cake is basically just the broken card of the deck. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's broken just because it's just too good. Too good in the deck. Um especially like you just it's just so many ulti, like OTK possibilities with this card, it's just amazing. And it's such a threat on the board that you have to get rid of it because it's not a just a normal summon effect. It's just a once per turn effect. So if it lives, you're pretty much going to die if two who cake effects goes off and they resolve properly. Three Mephews basically sets up an extra engine for the who cake to, you know, pursue it to make it more of a threat. You know, if someone is get who cake out from your hand, activate effect, a who cake is vanished, going to Messenger Gelato. Just go in, like, the possibilities are endless in this deck, and it's so fun. Three Messenger Lottos, you keep three, or many people say, oh, we're only run two, I like to run three. Three reasons being because you want to keep your Invoker plays, op I mean, you want to keep them there. You always want to keep that open. Um, you say people say, oh, well, you will draw into him, whatever. He's not bad as a hand to heart too, just because of Mewfu, and you also he also comes on the field as a twenty-one beater to get over problematic cards. Maybe like a Wolf, not Wolf. Uh, what's his name? G TGG Wolf or whatever that crap is that Firefish use, or get over the Thunder King. You know, just the, the twenty, just the strongest base monster in the deck. So it's not that bad as drawing into it. But just keep this for is a mandatory who kick target to go into other card plays, and it's also an invoker target. So three, drop this down to one. You don't need more than one, honestly, in my opinion. It's basically a ticket monster summon. After I go off and play ticket, you know, use tickets effect to special summon cross out. Um, basically that's all he does. Uh, he doesn't read. Really, you don't use the old combos where you bounce back to fill a spell with ticket and search. Like the deck is just too fast for that now. Like it's just too crazy. You don't really need more than one, uh, in my opinion. You I mean two may be okay, but I like one. And oh, surprise! And hey, that's Esper Girl. Okay, well I just profile all of them. Um, psychics. I use the psychic engine to speed up the, the process of the deck. It's just so unreal. It's crazy. Um, of course, I run three e teleports. It combos with the Mew Fuel into Hook Cake and the e teleport, and just going from there. It's just crazy. Um, the players are endless. It just helps the level three. Level three is like this deck is like the new wind ups, in my opinion. This, 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 this flood the field, and their effects are just so broken. It's just so good. Like, it's just hard, really hard to respond to them. But the psychic, if I draw into her, I can set her as a giant rat or something. Sometimes they like dark roll for no reason, or maybe they just tack into it. And basically, you get her effect to special summon Esper Girl in standby phase. And the, the, the play is just so good. It's a plus one for it. And the fact that Huke activates when you have monsters in the graveyard, this gives you a, a one in the graveyard. And then Esper Girl, when she ever leaves the field, it gives you another one. So that's two already there. So who kicks should never run out of targets in this deck. Just just that once you get the one who kick going, like the rest of the cards are just going. And the other who kicks are not dead. That's why you run three. People are run two. But in my opinion, three is just is just too good to pass up. And the fact that she's a tuner that you can go into Beast and Barkeon. Which is great. You can even go first turn beast by summoning 
a Madoche or any Earth monster, and then he teleport into her, and then you know you got first RPG that's for your spellbook matchup, or Dark Rose or you know whatever. Um, two maxis. This is definitely gonna go bump up the three, which I, I want to get a lot of elemental dragons and you know Jagunities and stuff like that that just spams special summons and you know. So Maxi is just another card for Huke. That's why I love it. Hand traps are really amazing in Madoches, and it's also a really pain to deal with when they get sighted against you. Just hurts you a lot. But Maxi is just too good. And for the last monsters, double tour guide. Reason being, um, I do play double summon, and oh, um, not only that, but if I summon Magdalene and I happen to just have a tour guide in my hand or whatever, and I search out, let's just say I have a bad hand, I search out for the Magdalene because I don't have any other, you know, I don't want to, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, so I'm like, I just search for that Magdalene. So. Imagine if for some reason it lives on the field. I can summon to our guy and go into the invoker with just the one card combo, which is summon to our guy, get another trigger from your deck, invoker, and it can hit you up with faster plays with the the deck. And it also it helps you get into Levier. Once if I banish my monsters for Hoo Kick, I can special summon you know Levier through Tour Guide so much easier than anything else. It makes rank threes in his decks are a lot amazing. Just so good. Um, for the spells, I played double fill spell, double ticket. The deck recycles so much that you don't need to play past two of each. And it's so easy to get because they're easily searchable. Don't need more than two each. Um, for the psychics, three e teleports helps me go off, helps me defend, helps me just so good of a card. Back, going back to three really does help psychics be splashable in a lot of earth decks. Um... Instead of playing MSTs, I rather play Lance. Um, subject to change, just because how the meta is with the Elements of Dragons not affected by it, Spellbooks not really affected by it, but everything else being really kind of affected by it. Um, simple. This is the two main decks that I'm probably gonna see a lot are Elements of Dragons and Spellbooks. Um, yeah, this might not see a lot of play, but. The fact that MST is also a really bad card against those cards in mean, those kind of decks too. Just I don't know, but I like the double lands when I go against like Elemental Heroes or something like that, and I go off and oh I'm gonna bother your Terminus. It's like okay that's cool and Lance. Where instead of playing triple MST and against four back row and you draw one MST, it's like you're not gonna blind MST into a bottomless or you know something like that. You rather just lance your monster up and keep your continue playing and like that a lot better. So, two double summons boost up the summons in this deck. Just the Magdalene, double summon Magdalene combos are really great. Or I can mute fuel into Huke, double summon Tor Guy. Like, is there so many crazy card things you can do with this card? And this deck is just crazy. Monster Reborn, Heavy Storm, No Dark Hole. For the traps, three Threatening Wars. And triple chain um might drop a chain for a maxi that's probably how i'm going to balance that out but right now three finish chains and one palooza and all right guys that's my modacha deck list hope you guys love it tell me about it subscribe whatever it doesn't matter still my favorite deck at the moment so peace guys